In a world where obesity is a growing concern, there exists a tribe called the Hadza, whose members weigh less than 50 kilograms on average. Their slender frames defy conventional expectations and raise intriguing questions about the factors influencing their body weight. In this video, we will explore the fascinating reasons behind the Hadza people's remarkably light build and uncover the unique lifestyle practices contributing to their distinctive physique. So get ready to be amazed by their physical resilience and adaptation story. And don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Here we begin. In the Hadza tribe, experts have recognized that body weight varies among individuals, just like in any other population. While it is true that some members of the Hadza tribe may weigh less than 50 kilograms, it is incorrect to generalize this characteristic to the entire tribe. Like other human communities, the Hadza people exhibit diverse body weights influenced by various factors. The Hadza people follow a traditional hunter-gatherer lifestyle, which involves significant physical activity. They engage in activities such as hunting, gathering, and walking long distances in search of food and resources. This active way of life contributes to their overall energy expenditure and may impact their body weight. So, when the Hadza go out on hunting expeditions, they may cover long distances, endure challenging terrains, and engage in prolonged periods of physical activity. Naturally, this level of exertion can lead to higher caloric expenditure, especially when combined with the scarcity of high-calorie food sources in their environment. While the Hadza are skilled hunters, successful hunts are not guaranteed. They rely on their knowledge of animal behavior, tracking skills, and cooperation to secure a catch. However, hunting can be unpredictable, and there are times when they may return empty-handed. During periods of unsuccessful hunts or scarcity of game, the Hadza's calorie intake may decrease significantly. This scarcity, combined with the high energy demands of hunting, can result in weight loss among individuals within the tribe. The body utilizes stored fat reserves for energy when there is a calorie deficit, leading to a reduction in body weight. In terms of diet, the Hadza rely on a combination of wild animals, tubers, berries, fruits, honey, and other naturally occurring food sources. Their diet is predominantly composed of foods that are found in their natural environment. Unlike sedentary communities with access to processed and calorie-dense foods, the Hadza primarily consume foods that are lower in calories but rich in nutrients. Their active lifestyle and reliance on natural food sources could contribute to the lower average body weights observed among the Hadza people. Their physical activity levels help to burn calories, while their diet provides them with essential nutrients without an excessive calorie intake. Additionally, the natural food sources they rely on may not provide as many calories as modern diets based on processed foods. Let's talk about the factors affecting the body weight of the Hadza tribe conducted through a study. Also, experts have noted that various interconnected factors influence body weight and are not solely determined by food intake or physical activity. Factors such as genetics, metabolism, overall health, and individual variations play significant roles in determining a person's body weight. Therefore, it would be incorrect to assume that all members of the Hadza tribe have a body weight below 50 kilograms. When comparing Western lifestyles to those of our hunter-gatherer ancestors, experts find significant differences in diet and activity levels, often implicated in the global obesity epidemic. However, no physiological data for hunter-gatherer populations supports these theories. To address this gap, a study was conducted to measure the total daily energy expenditure of the Hadza hunter-gatherers using the doubly labeled water method. The goal was to determine whether foragers expend more energy each day compared to individuals in Western societies. The study found that, as expected, the physical activity level of Hadza foragers was higher than that of Westerners. However, after controlling for body size, the average daily energy expenditure of traditional Hadza foragers was found to be similar to that of Western individuals. In addition, the metabolic cost of activities such as walking and resting was also comparable between the Hadza and Western groups. These findings challenge the current models of obesity, which suggest that Western lifestyles lead to decreased energy expenditure. Instead, it is hypothesized that human daily energy expenditure may be an evolved physiological trait that is largely independent of cultural differences. To further investigate this hypothesis, 
The study examined Hadza foragers' daily energy expenditure and physical activity level, aiming to compare them with individuals from market and farming economies. The Hadza tribe resides in a savanna woodland environment in northern Tanzania, and their traditional foraging lifestyle has been extensively documented in previous research. So, what do you think of their weight? Comment below and subscribe for more such videos.